Hey, Chris House fans, check it out. We got a head to head to head comparison here. We got the Arma Granite 3S versus the Decono Pro. And then we have the Rustler 4x4 VXL. These are nice. I'm gonna do some mumble rap for you today, guys, too. I'm gonna sneak it in. You're not even gonna be ready. I hope I can get it in there. I don't wanna disappoint you. Got a lot of stuff on my mind. Okay, check it out. Let's start off with bodies, okay? So, Traxxas, Traxxas is, is kind of going this, this neat direction here with this clip system, okay? So instead of traditional body clips, uh, we've got this cool little yank, pull, yeah, okay? Done. Look at that. Now, put it, it's got a little cage in there. Liking it. Putting it back in is a little bit of, kind of grab body sides up, slide it in. I don't know. It's okay. Red Cat going old school. Look at that. They're like, hey, let's just, uh, let's just put a... Uh, I already know it's gonna get on with too. <laughs> Let's just not throw some holes in the body, we're good. That's, you know what though? I like that. You know why? Because they just, they're like, DGF, don't give a what, you know what, you know what, you know what, you know, okay? And then Arma, they're like, hey, look, and you know what? We already did that one with the mittens, pray for Chris, okay? So it's got the mittens. Actually, remember when you were a kid, there's another thing we like. Remember those sticky little hands you got out of the gumball machine and you pull them back and whack your, your younger sister right off the frickin' right off the eyeball, right in the cornea. Oh. Excellent. Oh, I never did that to my sister a lot. Anyway, so uh, body strength, uh, graphics, pretty good. Let's uh, let's get past the bodies here. They're all like a Lexan style body. Um, I'm gonna pick the winner as Traxxas as far as bodies go, okay? So let's stick these to the side. Trax is making the tougher body. So we look at the, the chassis composition of these trucks. They're very, very unique, okay? So we have very similar wheelbase for all these trucks. The Rustler is a little, actually, we're almost uh, dead on. Actually, the Rustler is a little, little longer, which is pretty cool. So as you know, with all these vehicles, we got wheelie bars, and that is really good. <laughs> we like wheelie bars. Flexible, pretty rigid, pretty rigid. Dual wheel, single wheel, dual wheel. The jury's out on which one's better. Who cares? Tomato, tomato, the wheelie bars, we like that they come in. I think the Traxxas one's really unique where it's super flexible. Um, I just, I I think I actually like the Red Cat one a little better and it is ball bearings in there, ball bearings actually on all of these. Um, I think Traxxas is still using like a bushing in there, but that's okay. As far as front bumpers go, you know, these break a lot for Arma, these little springs. They call these bumper springs. Um, the Red Cat ones, we don't sell a whole heck of a lot of these bumpers. It's very rare. I think I ordered my first bumper today, and it was for the camels. It's similar. And uh, the Traxxas bumper uses that same spring. It's interesting that they all kind of are like, huh, what's everyone doing? We look at chassis, we get kind of three really, really different kind of setups here. The Traxxas is flat. I really like that. It has a minimal amount of hardware, very clean, very easy to work on tough slam down on something it's good to go okay it's good it's flat the Decono's got this kind of chassis style like this not my favorite to be honest with you and they're a little heavier on the hardware albeit they have a lot less okay let's we're gonna do an official screw count too we're gonna do it okay and and you guys will appreciate that and I'll tell you why flat chassis uh these bumper pieces like to break too and I know I'm picking on some stuff that's breaking but, you know it depends on where you're using them, what they're doing. We had a we had a guy in today. We had a spirited debate. He goes, "Want to buy this truck? What one breaks the least?" And we're like, "What are you doing with it? Where are you running it?" We'll ask you logical questions, but these are all durable rigs. So let's you know, it's speculative, right? Come here. While we're on it too, uh, let's do the screw count. So when we got the Traxxas here, we got two, four, six, eight, uh, and a ten, twelve, thirteen screws in the bottom there. These two are not screws because they're in from the other way. So we got what thirteen? You know what I said? Sure. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, twenty. Ooh, screwing you. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18. So screw count, Traxxas wins. Second is the Arma and last place is the Red Cat. Poo-poo, okay? So the thing is with screw count, when you're working on these vehicles, 
Um, Traxxas used to be the, the premier. I'm going to come back to it real quick, but low screw count equals better engineering as far as how things are fitting together. Um, Arma's really stepped it up and they're incredible with it. We're going to get back to that, okay? We're going to get back to that. If you work on these things as much as we do and as much as you guys do, if you beat the hell out of them, we like cars that are easy to work on. Let's get into wheels and tires real quick. Uh, loving all three aspects of the wheels and tires. Um, we got this big rounded profile uh, on the uh, granite. Good foam. I'm going to say this is more of like a medium to like medium heavy foam. Okay. And, and I know it's just by feel. It's not really technical. Red Cat's definitely firmer on the foam. And the, and the tire profile is a little more squared off. And what that helps with is just pure line traction. Okay. But when you're steering... You get some geometry and there's a lot of stuff going on. The rounded profile is kind of cool. Um, you can think, think of more of like a dirt bike tire because you can bite in when it's kind of doing crazy stuff. Where these are a little more flat and Traxxas are really flat on the wheels. Now the other thing too is wheel size. We actually got pretty small on the Traxxas. We got um, pretty good height on the Tacono, which is actually slightly bigger than, than the Granite. I do like the black chrome that Traxxas is using on these, but I got to tell you, my, but the winner is is clearly, in, in, in our opinion, is, is, is the Tacono. I think it's got the better wheel, the better rubber. I like the rim design too. It's pretty cool. All blacked out, kind of popular, even though you know, 90% of our wheels are black, but everyone's like, I want chrome, and then the chrome flakes off, but, you know, Traxxas knows how to make a wheel. Let's talk about shocks real quick, okay? So we have all plastic bodies. We've got, like, a firmer spring on here. We've got, um, and these are metal springs that are coated, okay? Uh, all metal springs on all of these. These are aluminum body with a little bleed valve there. These guys are oil-filled. I hate these shocks. I love these shocks, and I hate these shocks. They're really heavy-duty Working on them is really weird. You actually kind of take them apart in reverse. Um, I never had to replace shocks on the Decono. We sell a lot of shocks for the Rustler. All three of these are, are set up very plush. The Decono being the plushest, um, a little more firm on, on the on the Traxxas, okay? And beautiful wheel travel, like really, really smooth. None of these vehicles have batteries, by the way, which does change the dynamics a bit. A little stiffer on the Arma. Um, as far as wheel travel goes, I mean, they all will bottom out, which is pretty cool. If that, I don't know if that's cool, but that's what they do. I found these shocks to be a little, I found them to be not that durable. And the bumper's a little bit more narrow and, and there's a little less space. So if you do hit something, a chance of it going to the shock, I know it has these shock guards, but this is a bit of a problem spot for these. And, and these, all these vehicles have their, their slight nitpicks on things, okay? And I'm going to go through that, all right? And, and the thing with the Red Cat, I love these bleed valves. It makes bleeding the shocks uh, beautiful. You know, aluminum standoffs. Like, they're doing, they're putting the extra miles in, okay? A lot of you are going to ask, where's the Caldera? Hey, what happened? Hey, what happened? Where's the, where is it? I'll tell you where it is. <laughs> Here it comes, the Caldera, gotcha! <laughs> okay, so we love the Caldera, but Here's the problem. We didn't do the Caldera in this video, and I know someone's gonna be like, oh, you love the Caldera. I saw it for 10, 10 years. You sold thousands of units. Great. Well, that was a little mumble rap. Okay, got some Fetty Wap. Trademark work. We're gonna lose all the licensing from the we're gonna get demonetized. We love the we love the Caldera. We actually believe it presents the best value for a four-wheel drive vehicle. Um, but Let's talk about drivetrain real quick. Um, we love Arma because of this really cool design here. You can actually take this drive shaft right out. Now, why do I need to do that? Does that really matter? No, no, and, and really no. But we like this removable drive. I did that one-handed too, by the way, folks. Trax is using a metal drive shaft. Red Cat's using metal. They're using plastic, okay? Now, I do like metal composition first and foremost. What's interesting, though, is that Red or Traxxas here is using the metal, but they use plastic telescoping shafts. Plastic telescoping material, telescoping meaning in and out, okay, works really good because it torsionally gives you a little extra spring, okay. Um, can't really give you anything to directly compare it. Winches, for example. A lot of winches used to use aircraft cable, now a lot of them use nylon. When you're pulling someone out, you want that spring to get, to get going. You get that energy, okay? So when you have that drive shaft and it's flexing a little bit, it's really propelling the vehicle quickly. It also aids in durability, too. We like it. That brings me to uh, talking about the drivetrain. You're getting constant velocity axles, I believe, front and rear on the, on the Decono. 
Constant velocity means the hub and the knuckle are joined. That improves durability. It means less parts count because of the same shafts, front and rear, where almost everything else is you gotta buy you know, front and rear specific shafts, which is really kind of annoying. We get far less breakage on metal. Um, I know plastic can, and a lot of times the plastic can be a little heavier as well. Um, I think it's it's an easier sell for us with customers as well and with you guys out there because metal is, it's metal. People like metal stuff. Metal doesn't always mean better. Look at the chassis. Plastic, plastic, plastic. That's for your durability. That's what's going to give you a better truck. Plastic, it flexes. It allows you to do things. We like these kind of, love this drive shaft. Okay, and that gets me on to, uh, we're going to talk about electronics in a second, but that gets me on to working on these vehicles. I kind of look like a monkey trying to frig a football when I was trying to take this thing apart for the first time, okay? So, my, uh, <laughs> we had to get the motor out, okay? We had a guy, he needed a motor and speed control, and he's like, oh, hey, uh, can I get the one on the truck? And I'm like, come on, guy. All right, we're going to do it for you. I hesitated because we didn't have tons of stock on these at the time. What I didn't realize was how simple it was. Drive shaft just pops out like that. There's one screw underneath. One screw. Pop that out. And there's a little red assembly here. It slides out. The whole motor assembly comes right off and, and Bob's your uncle. That is awesome. It's so awesome. Overall, I still like working on the tracks is a little bit better. I find it's conventional, um, but it, it does have a lot of ease of... It is a really easy vehicle to work on. Redcats made huge improvements. And that's part of the reason the Caldera is not going to be featured for, for this kind of comparison. The Caldera is a little more labor uh, laden. It, it just it costs more to fix them. It, it, there's more going on. There's more hardware, more screws, more everything, and it can be a little tedious for some people to work on them. If you have good tools, and uh, by good tools, we're gonna do a little shout out. MIP. Buy these tools, and we don't care if you get them from us. You get them from wherever. Well, if, if you're in the area, you can buy them from us. Okay. More mumble wrap on the way, okay? Get these tools. They're super hard, they're chamferless, and it lets you work on, on the vehicles a lot easier. The call there was a bit of a pain in the butt. There's very little going on. We love how simple this is. This is this is this is great. They're all great trucks in that regard. So here's where things get a little more interesting, though. All these trucks are good for two cell. All day. Run them on two. You want to give them to the kids? Well, you know, two might be a little hot, okay, a little crazy. But three cell. You know, 3-cell is going to really, really, really go nuts on these guys, okay? But their, their drivetrains can take it. Uh, and speaking of drivetrains, these guys use metal ring and pinion gears. The main gears inside the truck are all metal, okay? These guys use plastic. It's a composite material. Works really, really good. I don't replace hardly any ring and pinion gears on these things. They work excellent. And these guys, again, metal. Super high, super, super heavy duty. How many parts do I replace on all of these trucks? Very few. All in general one thing to understand with all these trucks is who is the user now if you're an adult okay I'm gonna say over 12 years old you have a little bit of experience all three rigs go for it run them all of them two cell all day long three cell if you're feeling a little extra spicy okay it's <laughs> great Traxxas and Arma have a training mode. Sorry, Traxxas has a training mode where you can put it in 50% power, training in sport mode, okay? So you can limit that power down, and it works very well. It's done through the ESC, which is a little bit of a pain, but it takes nine seconds to do it, so you're okay. Arma has a simple switch on the remote, 50, 75, and 100. Really love that. 50 for the kids, 75 for you, and, and 100 for you if you're feeling good. Red Cat doesn't do that, okay? So... And as far as, as that's concerned, uh, let's, uh, let's talk about electronics and then we're going to talk about driving impressions, okay? So as far as electronics go, um, Traxxas uses this system from, um, what, was, what was the biggest band in 1998? Oh, 19, 2000. This is the Eiffel 65. Uh, remember that song? I'm blue. Oh, man. It's New Year's 2000. Lit. That was before they even knew what that word. I'm from the future. Okay. It is blue, too! Look how good that rhymed! I'm so excited. I just can't fight it. Stop it. Get some help. So, this stuff, this stuff, is old. Okay? It's old. Does it work yet? Do I like these speed controls? No, I don't like these speed controls. Disappointed! We need a more modern speed control with a fan on it, okay? I know, and they're epoxy filled. They're like a military grade, like ESC. These electronics hold up really well on two cell. On three cell in the summer, we do see, experience a little bit of a uh, failure. Motors are great. Servos suck, okay? Traxxas TRA 2075 servos, you know, they're a plastic gear. They're, 
when I say suck, they're just, it's a $50 like stock serve. I'm talking some Canadian pricing here, but it's like, it's expensive for a stock serve. You can you could buy Metal Gear ones from us or online for as low as 20, 30 bucks. Just doesn't make a lot of sense. But again, it's an easy upgrade. Ba um, and while we're talking about electronics, let's just talk about battery retention. This is genius. Love it. Love this battery terminal here. Look, at here it goes. Here it goes upside down for big ones. Or I think you can actually get extended mounts for even bigger batteries. Beautiful. You don't have to worry about losing anything. Love it. Waterproof receiver boxes. Loving it. Great. Okay. Let's move on to Arma. These systems are incredibly durable. Um, we've had to warranty a few. We sell a lot more of these um, compared to the other two vehicles. The Granite's definitely the better seller. Um, things are things are always changing, okay? Fan-cooled, nice EC5. When I look at these connectors, I get excited. Let's just talk about tracks for those TRX connectors. Yeah, okay. This is what you want, okay? Deans, that's what you want, okay? This is a 100 amp... <laughs> Oh, shit. 100 amp uh 100 amp vsc no way okay but it the motor and speed control systems work really good i believe it is a metal gear servo i think it's around a six kilo servo just i'm running off the top of my head six or seven kilo these didn't have the greatest performance but they did work and overall they were very reliable okay and we like that as far as um overall um uh, quality of electronics we found these to be really good and we don't get a ton of warranty back on this either uh, as well they do work um, let's talk about Red Cat. This is where Red Cat really shines. They're using Hobby Wing. I think this is a 60 amp system with a 3300 kV motor. This stuff just works. What I like about this um, over the other two is you can just put it in your three cell and just run it. Go for it. Kill it. Okay. And also your drive shaft is completely covered in this too. I know I didn't mention that. Where drive shaft exposed, drive shaft exposed, truth exposed. Waterproof receiver boxes for all three trucks. Excellent. Radio quality, they all suck and they're all great, okay? That's, you know, they're stock radios. Everyone's like, oh, what do you think of the stock radio that tracks us? I'm like, I don't know. What do I think of the weather? Well, you know, it's wet. It's dry. I don't know. Driving impressions. This is from somebody who's driven a lot of vehicles. Um, and th this is where it gets a little interesting. And, and there's some price point issues I want to talk about too. The Dakota, we don't go through as many and then we don't go through because we have the caldera and the caldera is it gets the coveted 10 out of 10 because it just works and i know when we sell uh at chris's house and maybe your other shops too is when we sell a red cat we can give you 10 out of 10 warranty we can help out with things red cat allows us to do that because we have a great partnership with them arma really good traxxas is interesting um we got to send stuff away for warranty but let's get back to it driving the best driving out of all three of these uh, with a two cell lipo I gotta tell you, I really like the Traxxas, uh, the Rustler 4x4. And what's weird about this vehicle is no one friggin' asked for this. No one ever came up to me and said, Hey man, I really want a Rustler 4x4, yeah! And they got like the helicopter hat, and they're like spinning it, and they're like, yeah, yeah! And they're holding their skateboard, and I'm like, so apparently my customers are, are Bart Simpson there, okay? But no one ever came in and asked for it. When it came out, I'm like, that's so freaking stupid! And then we got them, and I played with them, and I was like, this is genius. The brushed versions drive perfect. The brushless ones are good on two cell. On three cell, not my favorite, but on two, I really like it. The arm on two cell is good. Um, I still, on three cell, it's a little goofy. Damn, these things are fast. It's a little wild. Um, the wheels are, you know, they're a little unwild because of the softer foam, but still it's a medium foam. Uh, it gets a little out of control. I found the Decono to be one of the better runners on three cell, but on two cell, it was excellent as well. Like, here's the thing. On two cell, you know, 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 8 out of 10. On 3 cell, 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 8, like, whatever. Like, they're, they're all good. If I'm comparing to a Caldera, these three all drive better, okay? That's one thing that they really, really have. So we're going to end our segment of our, you know, 4x4 four by, four by, we should have had 4, so I can 4x4x4. Four by four by four. I love that crowd, love it. Uh, the Caldera is right there. It's like, what about me? Oh, we love you. I know someone out there is just wiping the two. Like, oh, that was almost a mumble rap. <laughs> you know what? While we have them all here, this is great. This is beautiful. This is like like the dream cabinet. You know what I mean? Like this is what I want in my house. Oh yeah. Or I had to sell my house and I now live in my Chevrolet pickup because I own all these. Because you know, yeah, we do have a lot of customers. We love our customers. There are a few customers they would sell everything they have, including their children, to have a wonderful, wonderful <laughs> Garcia collection. <laughs> it's, I've heard this.
I'll blackmail all those people if you ever screwed me. Uh, subscribe and click likes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Cost of ownership as far as when we're taking these things out, when we're running these on 3-cell, don't ask me. Someone goes, so a typical line we have here, besides for no refunds, which is a classic staple, is uh, see you tomorrow. People are like, oh, I'll see you next week. I'm like, see you tomorrow. They're like, what the hell does that mean? And I go, I'll tell you what the hell it means. You're, you grab a three cell and you put it in one of these trucks. I'm going to see you tomorrow. You're going to smash it into pieces. How much does it cost to replace certain items on certain trucks? You want shocks for the Decono? 35 bucks. Like all these trucks are like 30 to 35 bucks. You want drive shafts? They're all about the same price. Electronics, they're all about the same price. If you're out of your warranty period, you want to do upgrades. Wheels and tires, they're all the same price. That brings me to one thing. These guys use 14 mil hexes. I will see you in hell. I hate 14 mil hexes. You suck. You suck, okay? Anybody that was born in the 70s and 80s and, and you're like, oh, I, I got a, an Emacs or whatever the hell and it had those 14 mil hexes, remember all that stuff? Just frustrating. Duratrax makes a $15 adapter you can put on a 12 mil hexes. And Proline makes a uh, adapter so you can put 14 millimeter RAID centers on their wheels. Another video, okay? So... Cost of ownership, we love all these trucks. Caldera does come with a battery and charger and it can run three cell all day. Um, in fact, the differentials in this are, are wonderful and the diffs in all of them are good. Things like bodies, this is where it gets a little different. You know, bodies are 30, 40 bucks, 30, 40 bucks, 30, 40 bucks. This tracks about, this is a hundred dollar body, okay? That's a real deal, okay? You have to run, you know, their batteries, they don't sell connectors separate, so you're usually gonna be stuck to buying premium um, premium batteries for this as well. As far as parts breakage, the Traxxas is the heaviest on the parts, and we're using data on that, and I'm not gonna give you a, a big spreadsheet on it, but we'll go through um, probably about, I, I don't wanna say twice, but it's close to twice the amount of parts on this, and then the, granted it's a second, and surprisingly, and I don't know why it's surprising, but this guy is actually the best for parts. I don't break hardly anything on them, and there are lots of them out there. The Decono Regular and the Decono Pro. The Caldera is is a bit of a it's a bit of a parts monger. It's it's the same with the Traxxas here. It does go through more, but I find parts overall per piece are cheaper. And like you know, we have your your knuckles and your your spur gears. You know, they're ten bucks or whatever, and you're up and running. Um, and I found that Red Cat's pricing on some parts has increased slightly through the years. So cost of ownership is fairly neutral across the board. It does cost you a little bit more with a Rustler. Here's the thing, though, guys. All these trucks are great. Like, there isn't a turd in here, okay? Because we don't carry it, okay? If there's a vehicle, like... Now, yeah, there's an asterisk here, okay? Little asterisk. Volvo's going to put it in there for me, okay? The asterisk is... Well, my vehicle's not in there, so you're saying it's crap? No! Okay, YouTube, I get it, all right? I get it. Here's the thing. All these vehicles are great. There are a lot of great vehicles out there. Stuff that breaks a lot, and Red Cat's had a few. Traxxas, we didn't put the Stampede 4x4 in here. This drives a lot better. It's a lot better constructed. It costs a little bit more. We like the Rustler 4x4. You know, it's important. It's very hard to have four vehicles that are the same kind of composition. We love all these vehicles. They work really well. If you were to pick up an Arma, you were to pick up a Red Cat. And hey, some of you might not have a local Traxxas dealer, but you have an Arma dealer. You have a Red Cat dealer. Buy local, okay? There's my plug. It's like the Bob Barker gear. Pet spade neutered, you know, okay? It's, this is buy local. Get your cars local because if you need service, if you need warranty, may ask those questions. What do you have for parts? Why don't you show me some of the most common parts? Guys will come in, they'll, they'll grill us. They're just, you know, they, we always love when we hear, oh, I bought this from an RC car shop and they told me it wouldn't break. And I said, oh, great. How many parts do they have in stock? Walls of them. Great. And they're like, uh-oh, that means it's going to break. And I'm like, gotcha. You know, it, it, it's all part of it. So other than that, this is Chris Sow signing off, okay? If you guys like this video, you like content like this, go ahead, give us a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you like. You know, it really helps us out. We're, we're trying to get more videos to you guys every week. We hope you enjoy. Post your comments below.